Hey guys, it's Amanda, also known as Amateur Aries, and today we have my husband again, Zach, who will be trying more masks with me. Like I had mentioned in the last previous mask video, he likes doing masks. His face is kind of coming back. He shaved last night, so we'll probably try to avoid some of his lower region area, since... I don't know how the peel off mask is going to react to that. It'd be interesting, but I think it'd come off in pieces instead of on, you know. Yeah. Uh, the product we're using today and testing and reviewing is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Clearing Sweet Tea and Lemon Peel Off Play Mask. Don't know if you can see that very well. Uh, it instantly, it says instantly removes impurities and tones for radiant skin. It's for normal to combo skin, and it is a peel off mask as we have mentioned. I got this at Five Below. I will be putting up a Five Below video before this one is up, hopefully, because the last mask video I did is from that haul, and the haul is actually put, getting put up afterwards, so sorry for that. I didn't realize I didn't put that video up. So yes, um, this product was only $4, but you can get these products also at Walmart. But I think they're a little bit more expensive and they don't have much of a variety either. Yeah. So, update on our skin types. I have normal skin. He has a combo skin, meaning he gets oily right here in the T-zone, but then he has some drying patches. And he also has dermatitis. So if we see anything uh, blotchy around those areas or if they're clearing up in any way, we'll tell you for sure throughout like maybe another review video if it's helped in that matter. So you ready? So I got two little brushes I'm going to use for each person. I'm going to do his face because he likes it when I put the face mask on. And um, <laughs> I think he's not that great of an artist when it comes to it. So it's like all over the place. So let's get this going. Hear the wind outside the wind outside. <clears throat> Ready? Now, as you've seen what I was doing, I was trying to connect the ends with each other so that when it finally dries, which it says to 10 to 15 minutes or until completely dry, then all the pieces will come off together a little bit. So I'm going to do my face now. As I had said, it's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the thickness and how quick it is to dry. And it says if it doesn't last that long, I'm just do it when it's dry. So how does it make you feel so far? Cold. Like there's a coolness to it. It is kind of chilling, but you know, it's kind of cold in here too. Well, it doesn't, it'd be different if I feel like a breeze on it, but I don't feel a breeze. It just feels like there's a chilling effect, like a mint to it. Alright, so we'll be back to you guys after it dries, and then we'll tell you what we feel if we see any difference. So it's been about, I would say about 16, 16, 16 to 17 minutes. And it's f almost fully dry in some areas. Like, it's fully dry in most areas. It's sort of like tiny little spots, so we're just going to peel it off now. So it's our beginning to peel it off wherever you want. That was a little bit harder to take off than I expected, but I mean, it literally looks like skin. The color of it looks like skin. It's kind of creepy, but um, we we do know that this doesn't take off like blackheads. It's not a blackhead one. So if you get this in one particular, you just remind yourself. Don't expect to be looking for pores or blackheads pores, but blackheads in it because you don't. Yeah, you know, it's not gonna come off. It wasn't that hard to take off. I know a lot of people are super sensitive to peel off masks. However, I have like very rough skin. It doesn't bother me when I pull things off my face. He gets sensitive sometimes, but not with some face mask. So I would say it's on a moderate level of pain. So not that painful and maybe painful for people who are super sensitive. It did cause some redding at first right around here when I first take it off. And right here. 
but um nothing that I see that's ex like does anything particularly. It says this peel off clay mask delivers a cleansing and oil absorbing benefit. So I'm guessing it absorbs oil. Does your face feel oily? Right, no, no. Yeah, I mean like okay, see so dry oil. So he still has some kind of oil access, but that area that he's talking about is where he has dermatitis. It could also be from his dermatitis. So um, I mean we should consider these areas more where your dermatitis is a little bit less at. But since we didn't apply the mask there, we can't really say anything. Yeah. Uh, it also is supposed to tone and refine perks of, yeah, divine perks. Antioxidant rich tea helps protect your skin, skin from damaging freak radicals and lemon helps lighten dark spots for radiant complexion. Me and him never really had much dark spots except for my under eyes. He doesn't really have much of a problem with under eye problems. So, uh, I'm not seeing any real difference from what they've said, but maybe you need to do it more than once. It says that you can put it on twice weekly, which is usually people say you should, when it comes to these type of masks, you should put it on maybe like once a week because it does strip you of your natural oils that protects your face. So you make that decision on when you figure it might be good for you. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Do you have anything else to say about it? No. No? No. And see you next week for another face one. I'm trying to get one of these masks one up at least once a week. If we continue using this and we see any difference, we'll update you on it. If not, then just expect, it was just fun. <laughs>